back in Canada, about 20 minutes away from the house. Looking like a rollerblade and green biscuit kind of day for the next three, four hours. What do you think? What's up, guys? Just finished up some food, about to go out to uh, do some rollerblading for a few hours. One thing I definitely want to talk about about the trip to the U.S. was that I did not eat well. And that uh, that is definitely something that I feel affected me energy-wise and emotionally. And like I've just felt kind of out of it for the last couple of days. So when you're traveling, it's definitely big to make sure that you plan out when you want to eat and what you want to eat. Um, I definitely made that mistake this weekend. So if you have any advice of how you try to eat healthy and eat consistently while you're on uh, while you're traveling, hit me up. Also going to create a little compilation video of all the little highlights from my trip on the weekend. It uh, won't be too crazy, but it'll give you a little highlight of everything I did. So you can check that out on the YouTube channel. The link is in my bio. What I'm going to get back into for the next little while is journaling before I go to bed. I find it helps clear my mind, almost like meditation. It helps me sleep better. It's just nice to kind of collect your thoughts in one place. Something interesting I picked up on the trip as well is this roller. So basically you use it on your, let's say for your leg, typically should use two hands, but then you do like this, and the balls just kind of roll along. It's a really good massage. So today, this morning, i basically just been working on writing up my article in my own words for 509 Sports, just talking about my hockey career and how all the different things that have happened with everyone and with everything have shaped my career up to this point. It's been an absolutely awesome time playing hockey up to this this time, and this is really a nice article to kind of sum up what has happened, but also thank everyone for all the great experiences. So I really wanted to, on here, just say thank you to all my teammates, any coaches or anybody, any fans or anybody that's been a part of my career so far. I just wanted to thank you on video and say I really, really appreciate all the support and all the good times. And I look forward to many, many more good times and good experiences with teammates, coaches, fans, friends, everything, as I document it all along on the Daily C. So, how's it going today, guys? Just out for a nice walk. And a beautiful, beautiful day out in Paris, Ontario. I wanted to ask a question. Are you a hockey player who finds that sometimes it's a little bit frustrating that you don't have a lot of help and guidance when setting up your your on ice and off ice training now i know in the past this has been really frustrating for me because i find that i know i have the skill potential there but i find that i just don't have a high level skills coach that i can afford to actually help me get to that level now what i'm offering is basically a personal online skills coach so i want to offer the ability for me to for you to contact me ask me questions send me video and i can help break that down for you the value in this is it's almost like having a personal trainer but the advantage here is that i don't have to drive to come see you we don't even have to be on the ice together and you don't have to spend a whole bunch of money and time getting a hold of me now i'm not a kinesiologist and i don't have a degree for personal training so i'm not saying i want to do the physical training part but what i want to help with is on ice mechanics decision making and psychology so we would attack this basically by giving me video and then also identifying what your goals are. Then we work together to create a plan and then do video breakdown and consultations consultations to basically discuss any questions you have for me to break down the video breakdowns that I've done for you in further detail and basically just get the full experience of having a coach with you but online instead. If you'd like a free breakdown, you can send me in a quick little video under a minute and I'll help you out with that. And if you're interested in potentially setting up a weekly uh, plan, then shoot me a message, give me a call, and I can become your online coach. Now, this is something that I wish I had as a kid. It would have cut down the amount of time I needed to practice by so much, and it would have just made my life so much easier. Now, I work with all age groups and basically all skill levels. So if you're interested, again, just give me a text, a message, or a call, and we can figure it all out. 
I'd love to help you. Send me in a quick little video if you want a quick little breakdown. I look forward to it. my work for today. It's 9 o'clock. There's still more work I'd like to get done, but sometimes you got to take a rest, reset, and then get back at it in the a.m. tomorrow. So that's what I'll do. A little productivity thing that I've been working on as of late is creating a daily checklist for me to follow. So having my morning stuff that I do, then having my night checklist helps me stay organized and get everything I want to get done each day. Hey guys, just finished shooting up a video basically breaking down my rollerblade session where I tried to replicate Dolan's mechanics. Um, Rasmus Dolan, the number one projected pick. Swipe up if you want to check out the video where I break down my mechanics.